What's going on? What's going on? Brutus here, bringing you the next beer run series, featuring uh, well, well, series facing those that have two fresh hit six uh, three packs or clears, basically complete fresh hit three stars twice in a row, uh, both attacks in, in in war, and so for this one, I've selected uh, VIP Andre, and without further ado, let's get back right in. Let's get right on into it. The other thing I'm going to call out in this is, um, yep, there's grape walls, so advert your eyes. <laughs> uh, but not not exactly super high competition, but he did use the, almost the, uh, a very similar army comp. Uh, and I, I think that I don't see a lot of, um, I see a rise of, in, uh, of loons as cleanup troops in the back. Uh, and you'll see I'm starting to use those as well on my 10. And you can see Andre illustrate that here with... Um, uh, the way that he tacks here. Uh, town Hall 11 versus Town Hall 11. Uh, aside from the walls, it is some considerable defense, but you know, with bowlers, it don't matter. So he, if you notice that, he had a lot of uncovered trash on the sides there that he could just invest an archer. That is that is just excellent. Really cheap, gets the funnel, and now he can send pretty much pre, uh, a bowling ball, no pun intended, laying down the aisle here, straight to the core and the eagle right away, single infernal, inter uh, uh, single infernal towers, uh, which is a no-no that we've in the past because of mass armies you got to at least have one uh, up there nowadays um, in my opinion I kind of use both on multi but it, I mean the the whole raid was over in almost a minute and a half because of the the death design of the trash buildings being so easy to get to get rid of with those archers he uses the the eternal tomb ability right when they're getting into the thick of it in the middle um, so just quick work I mean the base stood no chance um, he, he could have bagged the AQ ability here as the trash buildings on the right were already taken care of and now they're starting to circle back towards the other side to get the other uh, left left had uh, left side of the um, remaining trash buildings here for the three it, I mean it was over before <laughs> it was over before I pushed play <laughs> really nice um, textbook example and illustration and execution of how to use bowlers mass bowlers up top at this level and just um, yeah, this base design really stood no chance. And this actually, uh, let's actually double check to see how long this raid took. Um, a sub two minute raid at Town Hall 11, le uh, at the Town Hall 11 level. Whoo, that's insane. All right, so going down to the second one here. Here's the other thing I wanted to point out. Look at the army comp, almost similar, except he brought a, a baby dragon this time. Um, thus the death of the square base, or the... I think they used to call it the CF base, the clusterfuck base, when it first came out. So here, I see these bases all the time, and I've seen them taken down the exact same way. You do your funnel on one side with um, three healers and some bowlers, maybe a dragon on the other side or the other portion of your bowlers on the right-hand side, and then you just uh, drop some jumps down the middle of the lane and send them on through. When they get close to a, a multi-infernals like this, that's when you use the Eternal Tomb ability so that they can, and, and with the Rage so they erase the core um, be, uh, by the time that the Eternal Tomb ability wears off. So there he uses it because they're engaging the multi-infernals. The CC engages into the uh, poison that was pre uh, there to greet them. Freezes the back end to ensure that he gets the far side um, Bowl, uh, far side infernal tower which is just enough here that the bowlers were distracted by some larrys uh, and they were able to get down the queen and then get the infernal and at this point most of the bowlers in the core are, are uh, if not all of the bowlers in the core are gone um, but he's got his queen, super queen going on in the middle here she's got three I believe healers on her and with how her, her DPS being so high up there Stu has the uh, ability in the bag she'll just get pretty much any real threat remaining to the bowlers the point defense uh, remaining for them um, while the uh, warden follows right behind them I think he still has like eight or ten bowlers up but there's really not much to say about these square bases anymore I mean they're if you're using them I would strongly suggest to stop. There is a new meta out there, and it is not the square base. Not because of uh, because of miners and bowlers. Just quick work, and I'm getting all kinds of notifications. That's my wife. I call it her name is yeah Tori, so I call her Victoria Seeker because she's hotness. <laughs> very lucky man. Anyway, that uh, very nice six pack VIP uh, VIP Andre. I really enjoyed the, uh, how you illustrated using these mass bowlers here when they use that eternal tomb. And then just putting the nail in the coffin for these square bases. Because 
they're, they're, they're no longer effective. Great job, Andre. Once again, it's Brutus reminding you, you got to be better than a double, and I'll check you guys next time.